In this tutorial we learn how to apply the MPSI Acoustic Impedance Inversion plugins by Earthworks ArcCLS. MPSI stands for Multipoint Stochastic Inversion. This technology is considered the fastest stochastic inversion scheme currently on the market. MPSI is an optional extension of the Deterministic Inversion plugin which generates full bandwidth model based acoustic impedance. In this tutorial we will follow the workflow from model building via deterministic inversion to stochastic inversion and the post-processing products that can be generated from the stochastic realizations. MPSI is implemented as a series of five attributes in OpenDetect's attribute engine. The first three, model builder, error grid and deterministic inversion are released in a bundle as the deterministic inversion plugin. The other two, stochastic inversion and utilities, are add-ons to deterministic inversion that are released together as stochastic inversion plugin. The low frequency model in MPSI consists of two parts, a 3D model and an error grid. The model is constructed from available wells and mapped horizons. Since all MPSI tools are implemented as attributes in OpenDetect, we can compute the model in the standard way. For example, pressing the redisplay attribute icon would calculate the model on the fly on the active element. The result looks like this. The error grid specifies the errors that can be expected in the 3D model. We will use Krieging with a user defined variogram to generate the error grid. The standard deviation of the errors will thus increase from zero at the well to one outside the influence range of the wells. This is the error grid on this inline. The next step in this workflow is the actual deterministic inversion. Inputs are the 3D model, the error grid, the seismic data and the wavelet. MPSI in OpenDetect version 3.0 does not yet support wavelet estimation, so you either import a wavelet or you can generate a Ricker wavelet in OpenDetect. The result of a deterministic inversion is the best matching acoustic impedance volume given the seismic data and the constraints provided. In stochastic inversion we take these results one step further. We know that seismic inversion is a process with non-unique solutions. In other words, there can be many realizations that match the seismic and the constraints that we have set. In stochastic inversion we compute many such realizations with the objective to obtain better estimations with associated uncertainties. As input we need the 3D model, the error grid and the deterministic inversion results. The number of realization is typically 100. But here we will calculate five realizations only. The realizations are generated interactively when we press the perform pre-processing button. Alternatively, we generate the realizations in batch mode by executing the parameter file that is created when we press the corresponding button. The realizations can be visualized via the evaluate attribute option in OpenDetect. Specify the number of slices, in this case five, and use the slider to movie style inspect the different realizations. The utilities option allows post processing of the stochastic realizations. We can compute a mean cube, a standard deviation cube, probability cubes and trends and joint probability cubes and trends. The mean cube is considered an improvement of the estimation obtained from deterministic impedance. And this is the mean of our five realizations. The standard deviation of the realization shows the uncertainties in the inversion process. Lastly, we show the probability cube. This cube gives the probability of finding user-defined acoustic impedance ranges. If we know, for example, that sands fall in the range 10,000 to 12,500, then our output represents a sand probability volume.
This concludes this tutorial on deterministic and stochastic inversion.